I'm here to talk about our abstract, which discusses um, a cluster analysis of serial skin prick testing in children uh, over four years. And we basically looked for patterns in their skin test positivity and then associated that with the development of asthma at age seven. We were just looking at how patterns of skin testing over time may help determine atopy in later life. And um, so we wanted to see if you could predict who would develop asthma in the future because you know, there are ideas that you could potentially reduce that risk with interventions. So our cohort is actually a high-risk birth cohort, and so they're defined by their parental um, history of atopy. And in this group, we found um, we had two groups of children who, based on their skin testing, were at increased risk of asthma. I don't think we went in with expectations of who would be associated with asthma. Um, in the cohorts, there's 16% of the children who develop asthma at age seven. And we defined our asthma pretty rigorously because the children not only had to have symptoms, they had to have objective findings by testing. And so um, we think that we didn't overdiagnose the kids with asthma. Um, but, you know, 16% of the cohort developed asthma by age seven. So they're, you know, basically at risk children and so if you can identify them before they develop asthma, I think we could potentially try to develop interventions to reduce that risk. Their parents had history of um, allergic disease, as, both by symptoms as well as by testing. Um, in this study, I don't think we looked at um, the whole picture. We were just looking at how objective testing may predict uh, the development of asthma later. And by doing so, um, you know, the children are identified to be at risk based on their parental history, um, not based on how the child is necessarily doing um, clinically.